Hey, sense. y'all. Welcome to Late to the Game. <laughs> I'm Carl. I'm Chris Ham. <laughs> Blizzard made this game, by the B- way. Blizzard made this game, but we did not know that until just now when we reset the game and we were like, holy shit, Blizzard made this game. And it's awesome that they chose to make this game. Yeah. The death. And Return of Superman is one of the coolest stories in Superman history. That you've never read. That I've never even looked at. <laughs> that I didn't know existed till today. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, Superman died? <laughs> and Chris Hemp's like, oh my god, face palm hard, <laughs> shake head. It was, I mean, it was kind of a big deal when it happened. Because nobody had ever killed off Superman before. But, uh... You know, that happens all the time in comic books. Wolverine just died. Oh, I love these guys. The Underworlders celebrate their takeover. Does that guy have, like, a bone beard? Yes, that guy has a bone beard. Uh, His name is... Shit. I don't remember his name now. Bone beard? That was that whole thing where they were all dying because Lex Lex Luthor... Bruce, also Bruce uh, Willis. Made them, like, all sick, and so they, like took to the streets and started rampaging. Bruce Willis played Lex Luthor in Injustice. What? But not his voice acting. Just the image of him. Oh, yeah. It does look like Bruce Willis. (laughs) A little bit. He would make a good Lex Luthor. They should make him be that. He'd be a fucking badass. He'd be just as good as Gene Hackman. Yeah, for sure. I thought Kevin Spacey made a great Lex Luthor also. That just that movie was shit. Yeah. He was, li- like, the only good part of that movie was the fact that Kevin Spacey was Luthor. Spacey. Spacey. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a little <laughs> stupid tonight. No, I'm going to come in. I'm going to get you. No, you're not, Rambu. Also, Red Rambu. I think that's Rambo, by the way. Whatever. I can fly. How do I shoot my lasers? There we go. Okay. I think it's that button on the right hand side I, I got of, the, you. of the buttons. I got you. Look at this guy. I don't like. Oh man, never mind. I was about to make a mean joke. <laughs> Why did you stop? Mean jokes are awesome. Cause it was a mean joke that I particularly don't care for those kinds of jokes. Just look at his forehead and just see where I was going with that. Looks like Tony from Total Recall to me. Oh yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's a better joke. <laughs> Later, Tony. Igor. Fuck you, Blue Rambo. Fuck you, Red Rambo. Fuck you, Down Syndrome guy. Oh, fuck, I didn't. No, seriously, I want to know what, uh... Did you just make the joke? Is that... (laughs) Yeah, it's not a joke. It's a horrible thing. (laughs) I'm a bad person. Dude, Eli Manning has Down Syndrome. What? Eli Manning. The quarterback of the Giants. Yeah? Mm Mm-hmm. He does? Yes. Didn't you know that? Like, are you saying, like... No, look at his face. Seriously. So you're, so he doesn't actually, you're just no, saying he, does like, he looks like he has Down syndrome. No, he does have it. Okay. He's got it bad. Like, the worst case I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, my God. And I've dealt with it a lot. I worked at an um, old folks home. You did? What? <laughs> you worked at an old folks home, and de- so you dealt with lots of Down syndrome people. <laughs> Makes no sense if you're an idiot. I was hoping that you would pick up on that eventually. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was like, yeah, okay, I totally don't remember when Carl ever did that. (laughs) I did, though. I I volunteered at an old folks home one time. Oh, I didn't know that. For a few months, yeah. That's sweet of you. It was okay. My great aunt Pearl was in a a retirement community, but it wasn't like a retirement community. It was like the place where people, like, send their crazy senile relatives. Was it like when Ben Stiller was walking the halls, like, in (laughs) a movie? Oh, yeah, no, it was, yeah. (laughs) I, I hated... I like that I knew even what movie you were talking about. And I even... Happy Gilmore, right? That yeah, was... I think that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. Where he like, sends his grandma to the retirement home. He's like, and he's like, now, honey. Ten more wallets, grandma. <laughs> yeah, he's like a total douche to the grandmas and grandpas. And then when the like kids come, he's like, oh, hello. Yeah. How are you? Everything's great. <laughs> and then he's like, he's behind him, he's like <laughs> I'll kill you and slit your throat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no! Get out of here, tick. Stupid How many man. times am I going to kill you, Rambo? That's something that Ashley and I are going to get into again is tick, the <gasps> series. I love the... Wait, the live action one or the cartoon? Yeah, the live action and nice. the cartoon if it's on there. Yeah, they're both great. I owe the the uh, live action like on DVD. I would really love to see the, the, the cartoon before. Patrick Warburton is like my fucking hero. I love that guy. 
You have so many heroes in a world that's hero list, dude. Is that that's probably a good thing, right? Yes. I love Patrick Warburton. He is just I love him. Well, him and H. John Benjamin are like two of my favorite voice actors ever. Well, they're both responsible for Superman. What? Which is what we're playing right now, right? Well, yeah. Can we, we just add in tidbits of information that doesn't make sense to sure. anybody else? Yeah, totally. Uh, Patrick Warburton and H. John Benjamin uh, co-wrote a <laughs> Superman graphic novel where uh, he gets Lois pregnant. <laughs> but instead of like getting her pregnant, he winds up killing her with his sperm. Yeah. Just shoots through her. Actually, the baby, like as a zygote, just kicks through her stomach. Okay, I don't know and if it's I've, like all gross and creepy. I don't Oops. know if I brought this to the to the show or not, but this is something I've definitely asked you before. Wonder Woman. Oh shit. Okay, Wonder Woman. Yeah. If she actually was able to be tied up by like some thug rapists. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, you have asked me this before. I have Jesus asked you this. Christ. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you again. I don't care. Maybe you've had time to mull it over and think about it. But, like, if she did get captured and tied up somehow by some rapist and they wanted to get up in that, you know, vagina slot, um, do you think I that she. So much. Do you think that she has the power to actually, like, dismember the dick off of the rapist with her vagina? Yes. <laughs> okay. We've had this discussion. Like, without a doubt, yes. I'm she sure could that she squeeze, could squeeze her fucking kegel muscles. Kegel the fuck out of that dick until yes. it's gone. Until it's just pulled. <laughs> yes. And then spits it Don't out with her vagina. Woman. Yeah. <laughs> she spits it out in the face of the proprietor of the attack. Proprietor? <laughs> fucking heart's hard. I swear to God. <laughs> Oh, man. We've broken so many of our rules. We made fun of the mentally handicapped. We made a rape joke, an abortion joke. Like, all we've, all we got to do is say the N-word, and it's, a tri it's the, you know, the trifecta of the things that we said that we should never do on the show. Thanks, Superman. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I know. Superman. Bring out the worst in us, I guess. It brings out the worst in everybody. <laughs> Superman. I don't know what the he fuck brings out the worst in, anymore. He brings out the worst in people so that he can come and save the day from it. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> look at him. I'm sorry, I just love his pose here. He's like, ah, good job. <laughs> that is an actual like. Is there a superhero that goes out and causes crime and then solves it himself to be the be good guy, but he's actually a bad guy? I don't know. Probably, I'm sure somebody's had that idea. All right, viewers, if you know, please give us a hand here and let us know of a comic book character that goes out and commits crimes, then solves them just so that he can be the good guy in the community eye. I really feel like, oh my gosh, there's something, I swear. What is it? Oh, no, you know what I'm thinking of? I'm thinking of Sherlock, the BBC version of Sherlock with uh, Bid... Bindi, Bindi Snipe Cumberbud or whatever his name is. Um, shit, yeah. Cumberbatch? Like, yeah, they all thought. Bender, that... Bender Snide Cumberbatch. Yeah. Something like that. It's fucking name. <laughs> Windy Bill Bumbersnoot. <laughs> Cumberbatch Snumber Pot. <laughs> Lickty Wings Bobby Boo. <laughs> Flick the sternum nickty num <laughs> Bob Johnson. Oh, no, shit. Oh, shit. No, Kloster. That's his name, Kloster. Is that a boss? Is it a boss? Is uh, a yeah, I think he's like a mid-boss. This is, uh... This is the guy that kills Superman? No, no. The guy that kills Superman's Doomsday. Dude, I love Doomsday. How do you not know... How do you love Doomsday and not know about the fact that he fucking killed Because I like Superman. the way he oh, fights in, in uh, Injustice. Injustice. He that's fights right. awesome. He's yeah. like a big dude, but they're like quick. I did it! <laughs> Take off your cod piece. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Take off your cod piece. Take off your cod piece. <laughs> <laughs> Not even the Justice League. Doomsday is here. Bloody bleedy blue. <laughs> Doomsday is badass though. Tell me some sweet Doomsday stories. Uh, basically, he's like completely unstoppable. He's a uh, he's like a weapon, like an alien, genetically made super weapon that is just completely uncontrollable. Dude, he's badass. So they froze him and shot him away and he crash lands on earth and they find him like 
a hundred years later or something crazy like that. And then Superman's like, no, I got to take care and of he, this motherfucker. Yeah, exactly. Superman's like, oh, he's destroying the city. I'm going to fight this new superpower. Who the fuck ever this guy is. Well, you know, another day in the life. Oh, like the, oh yeah, your chainsaws and Molotovs are really going to hurt Superman. That's one thing that I, that is kind of silly about this. It's like, I should be able to just fucking wreck these guys. Oh, I forgot about that shit. Mm. <laughs> That's my nose, everybody. <laughs> That's my nose, everybody. <laughs> so yeah, basically he's just, like he doesn't even really have any superpowers. Like he's just super strong and just can't be stopped. He's just like, doesn't get tired, doesn't get hurt, doesn't feel paid. He's just an unstoppable monster. And so he literally, like, that's how they kill Superman, finally. It's not kryptonite, it's not some weird contraption, they don't trap him in the red sun or anything, like all the shit that Luther's tried over and over again. Like, <laughs> Luther just needed to know where Doomsday was and point him in the right direction. You know, Superman's over there. Yeah, Why Doomsday just... beats him to death. Just, just punches him until he dies. Is there video of that? Is there video documentation of this event that took they place? They made an animated movie about it, yeah. Is it badass? Yeah, it's really good. Is there blood everywhere? Yeah. Is it pretty graphic? It's pretty graphic. Is it like... Damn it, dude. TVMA? Fucking... I don't know about TVMA. It needs to be TVMA but... or better for me to watch it. Like, I've got standards here, Chris Sam. <laughs> gotta get that blood and gore. <laughs> I gotta have it. I gotta have my gratuitous violence. Uh... Excuse me. Excuse me. You all need to fuck off. Thank you. There we go. Doomsday. I'm really glad. That makes me like Doomsday even more than yeah. just the playing as him in Injustice. He just punches the shit out of Superman until Superman dies. And then what happens? What happens to Superman after that? <sighs> what brings him back? How does he come back to life? He doesn't technically die. He goes into this, like, dead, brain-dead state where his body's just, like, all but completely shut down, and he just slowly, like, regenerates over time but that's where this game comes in is like you're gonna see all the people who like step in and try and replace superman but like first it's cyborg and he like kind of goes crazy because he's like dispensing justice pretty brutally sweet so he's just like the i ain't taking your shit fool and then he's like killing people yeah pretty much okay he's like no that like because he's all like real robotic about it he doesn't have any compassion he's like these people were doing crime so wouldn't it be better if they were just dead so they would never do it again? And they're like, no, that's not... That's, <laughs> no, 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 cyborg, that's cyborg. That's not oh, how God. Superman does his thing. And do you know what the... like, well, then Superman's stupid. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> breaks the dude's neck. Uh-oh. Breaks Doom's neck? Uh, no, breaks, like, just people, like, just kills people. Oh, oh. So he's like Judge Dredd, but, like, on... Yeah. In compassionate steroids. Have you ever read the Batman vs. Judge Dredd comics? No. Oh, they're I don't awesome. Want to. They're so awesome. Are they awesome? Yes, because like they're both good guys, but like Batman has like a real big problem with uh fuck, Doomsday, fuck off. With uh, you know, how Dredd just like immediately kills people. And so they fight all the time. You dead, son! I thought you said Doomsday wins. I'm pissed. Oh, just you wait. Doomsday better fucking whoop your ass till you're dead. He will. Next time on Late to the Game. Okay. Are, All you, right. sure? Are you sure? I'm totally All sure. Right. Goodbye then, everybody. Later. Watch next time. Watch next time to see what happens to the Man of Steel. Suck my cock! God. <laughs> <laughs> Is it my turn? Yeah, it's your turn. <laughs>